Creating a game overview like this could be one of the best steps you can take to help you get your project completed and keep you on task through your development phases. Before we get into the overview, I do want to mention what I learned on this project. And that's for me, I have to love the game I'm working on, or I tend to lose interest. Side-scrolling 2D isn't a passion of mine, so if I were to do this type of game again, I would start with a story element to give myself something to latch onto so that I, I appreciate what I'm working on a little bit more than just getting it done to get it done. Definitely don't do this for the money. Uh, do this because you love it and because it's your passion, and that will serve you much better. <laughs> it's also worth noting that the project itself took me two weeks to complete, and the video series took me an extra six months. So the hard part really isn't isn't the coding. It was uh, getting everything done for the YouTube channel. Now let's talk about the elements necessary for a complete game. First, we need a good starting UI menu or a starting screen. We need gameplay mechanics and some type of success or failure system. Not just any system, but a good system that's easy to understand. And we need a game over UI. This isn't necessarily how we need to create these elements though, so I've broken down the game overview into specific order of creation. First, I want to get my basic gameplay mechanics set up. Once my gameplay mechanics are done, I can move on to the game over UI. From there, I can work on the success or failure system, then build out the starting menu UI. I could do the start menu first, but it feels like the gameplay is more important. As far as gameplay mechanics go, I'll need to jump over obstacles and land on platforms. Those should be pretty simple. I also want to pick up an item to end the level. This could be anything really, but for this game it'll be a pickup. And last, I need a touch and die collision. The concept here is that the only thing you touch is the winning thing. Next I need a game over UI that spawns when the player dies and it just needs to include a retry level option and a quit game option. Third, I need to flesh out the success and fail system. I want to add a pickup to score points and some type of time element that keeps track of how long the level takes. I also want to add a tracker for lives. Then comes the starting UI menu. This will include new game and quit game. If you notice, it doesn't include a save game feature and that's the plan. I don't want to make it any more complicated than I have to. Think like 90s era video games like Mario Brothers where you just went through the entire game to play it. After these are complete, it's time to make a first pass and this should include enhanced visuals and images for the UI backgrounds. Then a second pass of the game for further enhancing visuals and adding sound effects. 